Hellos, my friends, and welcome back to Let's Play The Haunted Mansion. I'm your host, Busted Giant, so uh, without further ado, let's continue. That jingle will never get old. So, in the last episode, we went into the conservatory because it took about 20 minutes um, because it was taking so long because I was just talking. Um, I usually like to keep these videos, as you know, to about 20 minutes, but that's why I kind of wanted to do this game because I think it's such a good idea to just do it like just one or two rooms per video because it'll take such a long time. Um, but yeah, yeah, so it looks like uh, we've got 50 souls and the game room needs 50 spirits. So uh, yeah, let's just uh, head in. <sighs> Sensing the power of the stars, the door slowly opens, I think is what it says in Super Mario 64. I don't know, doesn't matter, let's just head in. I never like the unsettling unnerving nature of these places when you first walk into them when their lights are off. Oh, hey, Spider. I thought that there was supposed to be, um, there was supposed to be, um, uh, evil spirits, but I guess I was wrong. No, I was not wrong. Okay, too close for comfort. You gotta, you guys better stay back. Thank you. I like how they have the attention to detail of, like, having the beam glow and causing it to reflect like the like the light reflect off of the walls uh that's always a nice touch uh looks like oh wait oh no we've got seven lives now okay we're good um yeah this looks like the game room looks like there's a lot of uh just gambling games or something like that uh okay let's see where is the light switch what Oh no, is that that big spider that we saw in the last episode? I heard this really low, ominous tone in my headphones that I've never heard before, and now it's kind of creepy. Uh, Zeke, maybe don't stand me there. Wow, Zeke, you're really bad at running. Are you doing the moonwalk? What are you doing, man? Alright, so it looks like- oh dear. Are we just shooting you? Oh! Oh! Okay, you're pulling me back, you're pulling me back, you're pulling me back! They bite you if they pull you in far enough. So we can actually kind of see the pixelated trees and part of the mansion outside too, which is kind of neat. Uh, you can obviously tell that that's a wall though, but of course this is a 2003 game. Uh, I didn't expect uh, much out of that. Um, yeah, this is an old game, so I'm, I'm trying to let these slide. <laughs> I, um, you should have seen me when I played uh, Super Mario 64, like the controls were a little wonky in there, and I'm like, I really want to bash on these controls, but of course it was one of the first like 3D platforming games of like, in like console gaming history, so I couldn't do that because it was of course their first time working out like analog controls and stuff like that. Uh, but anyways, um, looks like we've got another tarot card, yay. Hey. That is obviously Dee Bradley Baker. Oh, playing pool, okay. Oh, oh my. Oh. Wait, 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 what does Madame Leota say? Let's get a hint. Look out now, the game's begun. Pocket each ball, one by one. Oh, pocket each ball one by one. So we just gotta get all of these pool balls into the holes, or into the pockets, as they're called. I like that they actually programmed you know how you can like, oh, didn't mean to do that. Normally the lock on button is used against enemies, but they programmed it to work on the white ball so you know where it is and how it's always gonna be coming for you. Oh, we got a de uh, uh, deck of cards, that's cool. Okay, so Madame Leota said that we need to uh, pocket each ball. I'm hearing a lot of crackling in my, in my headphones and that's really bugging me. Okay, let's pocket this ball, see if that works. Ugh! Where's the... Oh, here's another, uh, fortune card. Oh! Ah, that's clever. They're all like, where? Where are they? Gah! Oh, that's a lot of evil spirits. Oh, hi! Hi, bye-bye, bye-bye. Okay, so if you keep standing up there, they just keep coming. So that's something that we should probably remember. 
So they're all, I like how the game is like, ha ha, you think you could get off easy by just jumping on the sides? Uh-uh, uh-uh. I want to get the bravery tonic though, so we're just going to grab it here. No, get the bravery tonic. No, get, oh crap, okay. So you just, yeah, you just use the, um, the, the C button or the right stick, whatever you're playing on. Um, no, don't. That was my fault, so I shouldn't have done that. Um. You, you you just use the um you just use the C stick or the right stick whatever whatever you use in order to cycle through enemies. So, All right. Uh oh. What I saw. Oh crap. Oh dear. Oh no. Oh no. So we're gonna. Okay. So we kind of need the bravery tonic now because Zeke is not looking. Very happy. Oh, probably not a good idea. Where? Oh, jeez. I think we're good. Alright. Now we can actually focus on the game. There we go. Okay, so whoever that guy is, that's probably Atticus or something. He uh, just gets angry uh, whenever we get a ball in. But whenever we don't get one in, then... Or if we get the white ball in, then he's happy. I'm guessing we're probably going to have to aim for the 8 ball f as the final ball, just like in 4. That was an easy shot. Okay, let's aim for the 7. Oh! Did oh, it flew off the table! That has never happened before. Go in, go in, go in! Oh, you got to be kidding me, man. Alright, whatever, let's just... Did it, did it fly off? Or did it go in? Because I saw it fly off. Never mind. Duh! I think we got it in. Alright, and then the final one the eight ball. Dude, I suck at 8-ball iMessage games. I, this is why I never do this. Well, there's the light switch. Obviously it looks like an 1879 one. Wait, is it just gonna keep shooting at me? It doesn't look like it. Whoa, 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 look at this, look. The light switch is a two-sided skull. Or maybe they just thought, oh, the players will never see the other side. You thought wrong, whoever thought that. <sighs> I'm not going to stop doing that. All right. Much higher, much higher on the bravery scale. Uh, I guess we just start tapping things and hope that we get some bravery tonic then. <laughs> Tarot card, at least. Fortune card, not tarot card. Ah! Hey there, little spike boys. Oh, they weren't as close together as, as I would have liked them to be. There we go. Yeah. My thoughts exactly, Zeke. Another fortune card. I think some of them always say, look at me. Look at me! Alright. Oh, it's just the mirrored uh, things. So over there, it was both those card things. Sorry, I've never heard some of those instruments before. Ah! Oh no! 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 Ah! <sighs> All right, we did it. Oh, so he's got you delivering his threats now, eh? The What's this? A death certificate? Why, it says here that that no good double-crossing backstabber got the best of me. Bullfeathers. I'll show him who got the best of whom. Why, 
I'll bet he's up there right now, camping with a shotgun or worse, trying to get a bead on me. Now that you've gone done, lit up my hiding spot. Light makes the shadows deeper, though. Could be anywhere. Speaking of shooting in the dark, I have this. It's one of them soul gem thingamajigs for that there beacon lantern of yours. Here, might bring you better luck than it's bringing me. Yeah! All right! All right, so we got another soul gem. Nice! Shh! What was that? Oh, he's getting sneaky now, ain't he? Oh, he's here, all right. I can smell his beady little eyes. Best leave now, before the lead starts a flying. I mean, things worse than lead have been flying, like beams of light. Oh, wonderful! This soul gem will let you fire power shots to take out stronger enemies. Hold down the fire button to charge it up and release it to shoot. All right. Looks like the beacon is going to be functioning a little bit stronger now. That's good. Uh, I don't know if the duelist has anything else to say. I'm gonna grab these fortune cards real quick. I really needed to get into practice of seeing fortune cards. And of course now there's a uh, bravery tonic that we don't need. Let's just see if he has anything else to say. I was, throughout that whole cutscene, I was like, who is he played by? Is that Steve Bloom? But I don't think it's Steve Bloom. Nope, doesn't look like he says anything, so. Well, let's just head out. And that gave us like, what, like a hundred more souls? My gosh. All right, bud. All right, man. Can you... This is a creepy old mansion. Can you at least open up a little bit faster? We're heading into the foyer. Or or foyer, as some people like to call it for some re reason. Oh, for a sec, I was, thought I was going into a dark room, and I didn't think I'd hear the jingle. But we did. We're okay. Okay, so we can't go up into the upstairs hallway yet. So we can't go up there. Because that's like 525 spirits, and we only have 170. So, where else can we go? Uh, well, this looks promising. I just remembered that I don't like this place. The downstairs hallway. Well, I brought this on myself. I told myself that I'd play this. Let's just do it. Okay. This is the place that I feel the most on edge in, but, you know, whatever. It was in the spring of 1855 when I first came to the mansion. That was shortly after the owners first felt the evil presence here. While the owners were away, I was ambushed by forces greater than mere evil spirits. In the end, Atticus bound me within my own crystal ball, as you see me now. Oh, I shudder to think of the owner's fate. But things will be different this time, child. I promise you that. That was cut off a little early. I don't like that. Uh, huh. Okay, well. All right. Okay. All right. Thank you. That was great. Thanks. Okay. I'm going to save real quick. Okay, so for those of you who don't know, this wallpaper, like, in the in the haunted mansion ride, this type of wallpaper, you'd see the sorry, you'd see this wallpaper. There's two different clocks going. Um, you'd see this wallpaper, like the eyes on it. You'd see them blink, as if they were like watching you. Kind of creepy, huh? Dining room one hundred and ninety. Okay, let's keep looking. Is there a reason that those doors are boarded? Nobbies or something. Okay. It's this. Well, whoever that lady was over there, she went down that hallway. By the way, I hate to break it to you guys, but we can't turn the lights on in the hallway. I really wish we could, but we can't. That's why I always feel on edge in this hallway, because we can't turn it on. So, 
There's going to be a lot of moments where you're just going to see me like jump out of my skin for something that's like barely a jump scare. It's still a jump scare though. All right, the kitchen. Let's uh, head in here next. We still got a few minutes, so I think we should be good. All right, here we go. Forgot how dark this room is. Oh. All right, okay, here we go again. Hey, can you cut your fingernails, please? No? Sorry I asked. That face has scarred me for a long time, and I don't... Oh, this face, I hate these things. Oh my gosh, okay, that's a lot of evil spirits. That was a lot of evil spirits that I was not ready for. All right. So, those things, in case you didn't already know, are called banshees. And I hate them because they're spooky. Yeah. Literally, anytime I see them, you're going to see me just jump out of my skin and probably scream my head off, even though I probably don't even need to. Okay. Gosh, I made a stupid video. I'm going to be honest. So, I made a stupid video several years ago with my friend and my sister where we pretended to react to that jump scare and um yeah um it was a fake reaction <laughs> i'm gonna be honest i'm probably gonna get rid of that video because it's stupid so where's the light switch usually the game shows us like where the light switch is sometimes what well, there's a lantern. Maybe we just turn it up, like turn the oil up a little bit or something. Okay, put down the plate. Even in slow motion, that sounded like D. Bradley Baker. Oh! That almost hit me. Oh, it didn't break though, it's the place right here. Right? Oh wait, no, it disappeared. Okay, so um, looks like it's just gonna keep throwing plates at us. Looks like there's fire over here or something. Maybe it was like, oh, alcohol. Cause it looks like it broke a plate. It, it broke the, the oil lamp and now it's on fire. The alcohol is on fire. Um, Let's ask Madame Leno what we need to do. Broken plates and bottles too. Together, light the way for you. Light the way, as in fire? Well, we broke the bottle over here with the plate. So maybe we just need to get in the path of one of these bottles and just make it throw. That seems to be the pattern. Because um, that's what we did in... Um, oh. That's what we did in, um, in the game room, so. So do we, are we able to target over? We are able to target that. Okay. That's something that I really like that they did in this. That they that they programmed it so that you can actually target, like, what you're actually looking at, what you want to look at, like an enemy. I re ow. I got in the way of that. I'm sorry. Let's see if I can just focus here. <clears throat> oh, there we go. This is what I'm trying to. Not that. Not that. Oh my gosh. Here we go. This is what I was trying to do. There we go. So we just jump out of the way, kind of like we did with the pool balls. Okay, good. I like the sound of the fire in here. I don't know why. I like it. Oh, there's a spider on the wall. <laughs> you guys should have seen Landon when... Uh, <laughs> I, I wish we had been, been recording one time. I, like, I saw a spider, like, hanging down from its web from the ceiling. And we were, like, we were recording... Uh, we were getting ready to record another video for The Last of Us. And... I said, oh, look, a spider, and it was hanging down. And he just, like, jumps out of his skin. Like, jumps up from his from his thing. Oh. And he just... 
Oh! Oh crap! Oh crap! Oh crap! Nah, uh No, you don't do that. You don't do that. Not in this household. Because we're gonna get rid of Atticus Thorn, so you can't do that anymore. So... Okay, so it looks like since this barrel is blocking this... Oh. The plate just disappeared. Maybe these plates aren't real. These plates have an ex existential crisis. Ah, there we go. Didn't hit it that hard, but it doesn't matter. Still got it. Can you guys hear how loud that fire is? My gosh. I'd rather just blast them away rather than um rather than step on them because if you step on them you're actually liable to get bitten by them which we don't want one day I'm just gonna have this really heated argument with Landon I want to be like why are you so scared of spiders because I don't he has arachnophobia a lot of my friends do and I don't uh, oh, looks like this. Oh, the fireplace. We have to light up the fireplace or something. There we go. It's a pretty strong fireplace. Wait. I really like this one. I like this soundtrack. Okay. So, looks like we need to look around here. And, uh, find some more shriveled souls. Shall we? And of course, like Madame... Oh, another piece of a death certificate. Like Madame Leota said, um, we do not need... Uh, or not all of our foes fear the light. So we're going to be seeing a lot of enemies even after we turn on the lights, which is going to make this very unsettling. I think there's some other fire. The fire is very comforting. Oh, uh, and like, like I said, now that the beacon is a lot stronger, uh, we can pull multiple, like a lot of souls into the beacon now. By the way, we haven't even tested out the, the super power shot yet, whatever it's called. So you just hold down the R button and you let go. Wait, why is it even... <laughs> We're still targeting that. I guess they can't change it even after the lights have been turned on, but that's okay. I totally get that because we don't, it's not, it's not a hindrance. It doesn't cause problems here. I'm like really on edge that I'm gonna see like a, I'm gonna see a, uh, like another enemy in here. Oh, here we go. All right, 190 spirits. We are good to go. Oh, oh. Hi. Suffer anxiety attacks, acute paranoia, always feel like something horrible could leap out at you at any moment. Yeah. <laughs> well then, do I have a tonic for you, friend? Wait a minute. Is this the guy who made the bravery tonic? <gasps> friend, have I got something for you? <laughs> 1,000 acres of the finest Louisiana swamp you've ever laid eyes on. And I'll even throw in a genuine haunted mansion. Lawn alligators optional, of course. Interesting. So this is the guy. I don't remember his name. It said it in the first video, I think. But this is the guy who made the tonic. That's kind of cool. Uh, but we're going to go out back into the creepy dark hallway that we can't turn the lights on in. Uh, and, uh, save the game. Oh my gosh! I knew the second I'd, I'd walk out here, I'd get jump scared like that. Gosh, man. Why do you gotta do that to me? I'm, like, really on edge right now. I don't want to do this. I'm scared that, like, once I, like... Save the game, then I'm gonna get jump scared again. Okay. Alright, alright, I'm gonna pause the game before something bad happens. I'm actually kind of really scared right now. Okay, um, 
But that is going to be the end of the video for today, everyone. So thank you all so much for watching. Stay tuned, drink some water, and I will see you in the next video.